She is a woman reborn in fire. The longest reigning NXT UK Women's Champion looking to continue her dominance in WWE. The following contest is a triple threat tag team match. That is for the NXT Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers first from Glasgow, Scotland, Alba Fire. Easily the most dominant woman in NXT UK history. She held the women's title for 649 days. And in NXT, she won the Dusty Rhodes Classic alongside Io Sky. Well, no matter what brand she's on, her name is always in the title picture. A woman descended from generations of warriors. Fighting is in her blood. And there is fire in her eyes that cannot be extinguished. for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. She says she's the top woman in the division. Tonight is her chance to prove it. And don't be surprised if history is made here tonight. I know the champ has looked good as of late, but I'd say the opposition has looked just as good, if not better. Byron as the title will be on the line here. You're right, Michael, and judging from the response on social media heading into this match, we're likely to see a new champ crowned here tonight.
Here we go, hashtag NXT Women's Tag Titles. The competition in NXT's women's division. Oh boy, here it comes. Will she get a footing on the end? Foot, meat, back. Guillotine! And there's the save. This one's going to be decided by the smallest of margins. 
Perhaps the richest man in all of WWE, Cameron Grimes. And guess what, Michael? His fortune is going to the moon! The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds. Cameron Grimes! The wealthiest man in WWE since the days of Ted DiBiase, JBL, and oh, myself. Well, Cameron Grimes told me he considers his WWE contract a nice bonus. And he considers yours pocket change. Cameron Grimes looking to add a few more zeros to his bank account, courtesy of the winner's purse. You are looking at the future of the bloodline. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. Had a meteoric rise in NXT, multiple main event matches, and the NXT North American title. And has already made an impact on the main roster, becoming a part of the bloodline. Yeah. do so. With his unique blend of brutal offense and an in-ring ingenuity, Cameron Grimes has earned himself the nickname of the technical savage. I would say it's pretty fitting. Oh, that moniker really sets it off. Grimes dishes out some true devastating blows in the ring. But he's not all brute force. He also knows when it's time to turn tail and run. We'll see what side of Grimes we'll see in this match. And then there's Solo Sokoa, a superstar who is a part of a legendary family legacy in this industry. He's a born fighter who spent his early years battling on the streets. That's why he's known as the street champ. Those experiences gifted Solo with incredible toughness and a no-quit attitude. Once he sets his sights on a target, the street champ never backs down. Oh, man. Knee right to the gut. He's got to know he's in harm's way here. Don't do it! Slingshot set on to the outside. That is reckless abandon being shown. Two. And paying off as well. If you're a bruiser like Solo Sokoa, the path to victory seems pretty clear to me. You just have to focus on doing what you do best, and that's beating people up. The more ruthless your attacks, the better. Pretty straightforward advice, Corey. That's been a recipe for success for Solo in the past, so I imagine it will serve him well here. Squaring off right by our announce table. And a carefully measured knee drop. Rapid fire Samoan drop. Oh, look at the knee strikes. One after the other. signaling to the audience, and they are responding. Talk about a close call. Yeah, the referee was dangerously close to making it to 10 right there. And sent right into the corner. Hope he's got a plan. Whoa. Whoa. Overhand chop. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. Three. Brought back. 
back into the ring from the floor now. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Shoulders down. No, he kicks out. These men knew this match is going to be hard fought. Shinoku driver. <laughs> that unraveled on Grimes. He's heading back to the ring. Did you hear that impact? Chop. He's struggling a bit here. The technical skills of Grimes serving him well as this match goes on. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. A camera Grimes with a swinging side effect. That's just the technical savage doing what he does best. Doesn't have to be pretty. Cameron Grimes has his opponent. There's a slow package driver. Feeling like it's over for Sakura. And Grimes gets the win. Some superstars doing what they do best. Here are the highlights. Here is your winner, Cameron Grimes. Cementing their name after that match. Definitely earning those accolades with that win. This is the product of hard work and in-ring adaptability. He's got all the tools, and he put them to use tonight. Here comes Legado del Fantasma. High-flying superstars who are all business. They were international superstars before joining WWE, but are now doing the best work of their careers. A ruthless mentality both in and out of the ring. That is what Legato is all about. And guys, it's time to pay respect to Legato. Or they'll take the respect by any means necessary. The champ comes into his title defense incredibly competent, Corey. And with good reason, Cole. When you're the champ, you don't have to worry about winning. You just have to make sure you don't lose. That is the champion's advantage. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall and is for the NXT Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers at a combined weight of 365 pounds, Joaquin Wilde and Cruz Del Toro, Legado Del Fantasma. And their opponents at a combined weight 515 pounds. They are the NXT Tag 
Tag Team Champions, Brutus and Julius, the Creed Brothers. Tag Team Championships on the line. May the best team win. A showdown for the NXT Tag Team Championships here in this tag team match. We are starting things off with Joaquin Watts and Cruz Del Toro. Then the opposing team is, of course, filled with Julius Creed and Brutus Creed. When you're at the top of the mountain in the tag team division, every other team wants to knock you off of it. That's what this championship match is all about. Big right connects. Question if you skip going to the gym today. A single leg and oh, slam with authority. Tagging his partner in now. Comes in off the tag. Here's a snapmare. And a basement drop kick. He's tagging out. Section sunset flip into a power bomb. You have to question what kind of mallet ten is behind a power bomb with that much force. Thank you. 
Blunder. Ooh, he retaliates. Oh, my God. The champ getting put on the back foot here. Del Toro hooks the leg. Fisherman driver. Here's the pin tunnel on the line. Emphatic kick out from the champion. What do you have to do to put this guy away? He is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, jawbreaker! Call it death. The champ not looking great right now. This is what the purpose of a tag team is. Don't be afraid to use the resources and help your partner offers. Am I being diplomatic in the court? Got the tag. Got the tag. Is it enough? The cover. Title match stays alive. Obviously still has some fight left. Partner tags in. Oh, an axe handle. And he cuts bait, slipping out of the ring. Shut up, Saxton. This is just a small regrouping. Boot to the stomach gives them separation. Cover for the championship. Challenger is not in a great place. Yeah, they stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Making it look easy. Bone into a power slam. Just another insane display of power. Tags him in. If this works, it could change the course of the match. He's got him in the crosshairs. Knee cap goes right into the face to halt the attack. 
Rudy. than that without the bell ringing. Keep these guys in 
check. Oh, torturous knee. Did you hear the impact? Del Toro has become relentless. There's incredible impact with every maneuver Cruz delivers. Tagging his partner in now. Wild top turnbuckle. From the top. Inelegant exit, but if it works, it works. Oh. He's in a bad spot. Elbow on the spot. Gentlemen, in the interest of self-preservation, I may have to excuse myself. Saxton, you hang tight. Let this play out. Whoa! Summer Salt punch out. Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. And he slides him back to the back. Do we ever see atomic drop? Not done yet. Hit the splash. What a combo. Head it up. He's thinking big. To the skies. Oh, misses the ball. Dodgers. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Vicious forearm right in a skull. Ah, uh, left in on German. In off the tag. This could be big. Going up high. Desperate attempt here to get back on his feet. Once more, second. Brutus ball. A championship level move. Makes the cut. He makes the save for his team. Yeah. Got it. Scouted. Oh, oh, smash. We've already seen a few shots delivered up in that region. What a counter by Brutus. Hoisted up on their shoulders. This is just vicious. Stop in the arm. Oof. There's a tag. Opponent off the ropes. Double back, back, body drop. Just 
just look at Brutus gain the momentum in this one. Cruz has got to get his wits about him. Yeah. Joaquin Wild. Yeah, Julius is bleeding now, guys. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Big splash. Joaquin Wild trying to start something that I'm not sure he can finish. No! Somersault plunge it to the floor. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Dangerous stuff. Look to the face. Battling ringside, and our announce table's getting shaky. That's because Byron is quivering in fear next to me. Well, I get nervous when the fight comes out here, guys. And he gets set back into the ring. Grayson Waller has no respect for tradition and basically wants to dismantle the old guard of NXT. I fail to see the problem. Saxton, you better respect Waller because he's the future of NXT and WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. This man is invincible. Dragunov's a man who struggles to keep his rage in check, but when Dragunov loses it, let's be honest, it's a lot of fun to watch.
This dude is downright explosive, like a lit stick of dynamite with a very short fuse. Hey, this dude's been called the unstoppable czar. A title that he has earned due to his supreme physical conditioning. We've also learned that Ilya Dragunov has a volatile temper inside the ring. You're right, Byron. That's a trait that Dragunov has used to his advantage. Uh, there is no putting out the fire that burns inside of Dragunov. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT North American Championship. Introducing the challenger from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, Ilya Dragunov. And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds. He is the NXT North American Champion, Grayson Waller. Always a big fight feel with the NXT North American title is being defended. When you land in NXT, few things seem as important as an opportunity for the North American title. Few have held it, but many have battled over it. I expect this match to be nothing short of spectacular. I've been waiting all night for this one. Yeah. Able to give him the slip. Oh. Oh. Oh, he's got him here. He's got him up. He's not gonna wait. Here he goes. Look out. Suicide dive. That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Oh, God, what a shot to the face. Oh, just throwing their body. Well, it loves the cameras, Corey. Do you think that desire for attention could benefit him in a way? Yes and no. It's true he loves attention, but Waller needs to focus. Once he gets the cameras on him, it's important not to get lost in that adulation. Give him a show, but don't forget your main objective is to win. That powerbomb was absolutely worthy of both halves of its name. Uh-oh. This isn't going to be pretty. All the way out of the champ now absorbing a little damage. And that oh, shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Breaks the count at two. He thought he had it. Oh, oh, oh. oh look at the well-placed elbow right on the mark. Oh, stop right to the hand. And if the first stop doesn't send you the message, the follow-up ones definitely will. Insulting. Uh-oh. Hard side kick. <laughs> what a counter. <laughs> Waller wasting no motion on the counter. He's burying elbows in the midsection. Arm trapped. Precision strikes. The challenger eating up some damage. 
Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And Waller with momentum on his side. Waller showing tremendous focus. He's giving us a show, but he is dialed into getting the win. Just disrespectful. He's returning fire. At last, Dragunov keeps that string of offense in check. That's possibly the trigger for Dragunov to battle his way back into this one. A little sizzle before the step. Slingshot clothesline. You hear the talk in the locker room. And into the count. Two. And they kick out at two. Not yet. This is just vicious. No, oh, that'll break his arm. Vicious. Placed in the corner. Solely focused on in the corner. Clearly had a strategy going on there with the attention on the leg. And that holds Dragon off back. is not over yet. Things are only going to get harder from here. Trying to get the Grayson Waller effect to spread through the... Uh-oh! Suicide! Die! Whatever it takes to win. That was coming in hot at breakneck speed. Going fast and living dangerously. That's possibly the trigger for Dragunov to battle his way back into this one. Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just going to step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Using his body Dragunov taking a step back and measuring his opponent. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. Backdrop suplex. Taking the fight near our announce table. I really hope we get these desks at a discount. Basement rock kick. Counter by Grayson. And he tosses it back in there. Court applied. Boom! Knock him down. Ouch. Up across the shoulders. Right into a spine buster. Look at that, Saxton. He's running away. Uh, I wouldn't say that. He's just recomposing himself. There he goes, right into the corner. Oh, strikes with that. Oh, no. Trapping the arm. Vicious stomp to the hand. And the corner. Getting the crowd. Ready to go. An impact. Ooh, ooh, what a flying headbutt. The mark of a champion. Knowing when to use the challenger's playbook. He kicks at it somehow. Might have been a foolish move on behalf of the challenger, almost taunting the champ with that move. Just dished out his most devastating offense, and you got to be wondering if he's thinking one more time of being the charm. Raised down an elbow in retaliation. Oh, this is going to be good. See it in these superstars' faces. Exhaustion is beginning to set in. We're starting to breathe heavier. This is the time when matches are won and lost. Top rope, here we go. He's lining him up. Up high. Uh-oh, got snatched up here. With a championship on the line. Getting that shoulder up now is huge. Caught an elbow in the gut for that effort. 
Reversal after reversal. These two are ready for each other. Scissor takeover. Very nicely done. Outside of the ring now. What's the plan here? Into the barricade. Drop kick right on point. Uh-oh. Harlem side kick. Elbow drop with authority. Delivered into the barricade. Oh, he slammed his face right into the barricade. Waller well, making perfectly clear he's not stepping back. Saving us from having to sit through that. Driven down hard with a urinagi. Arms trapped. Just unloading knees to the bottom. Grayson Waller setting up his opponent, headed to the outside. Stop! Okay, the champ will stay champ. Two! Kick out! The champion's shot is palpable. The champ will have to dig deeper now. And it's going to take composure now. Could just need one more big move. Gets him with the counter. Into the schoolboy way. That's not it. Suplex. The champ shoulders are down. Three. No one kick out just in time. So close. So close. You able to sidestep it. Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller with a rolling thunder stun. Can it be? With a range of energy. is on their feet in this building. Absolutely showing the respect for all the exertion these athletes are putting each other through. Oh, what a hip toss. Here's the pump handle. Suplex launched. Respectful. And an elbow drop for added measure. Carefully placed stop to the arm. <laughs> Set up in the corner of the ring. Nice <laughs> chop. Oh, strikes with the. of the year. Let's take another look at some of the action.
Here's your winner and new NXT North American Champion, Ilya Dragunov. A victory worthy of a new champion. Safe to say things did not go to plan here. Here comes the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Before she turned 21 years old, she had already won the first ever NXT Women's Breakout Tournament and the NXT Women's Tag Team Titles. And she has a bright, bright future. The first superstar to compete on SmackDown who was born after it premiered. Well, you're older than television itself, so I'll take your word for it, Saxton. A promising rookie in the women's division. And I'm sensing an edge to it. A bright future for this young woman. Yeah, but she needs to stop focusing on skateboarding and start getting mean. I haven't seen this much blatant misuse of a skateboard in wrestling since the dynamic dudes. But Cora can get it done in the ring. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Women's Championship. Introducing the challenger from Laredo, Texas, Roxanne Perez. And her opponent from Chicago, Illinois, she is the NXT Women's Champion, Cora J. Desire and resolve will be tested tonight, all for the right to claim the championship. Kicking things off is Roxanne Perez, who really came up the old way, wouldn't you say? Fought her way through the Indies, put in the hard work, and now she's finally here in WWE to reap the results. They don't make it much tougher than Roxanne Perez. No doubt, Corey. Only question from where I'm sitting is if they made her tough enough to win this match. And then you have Cora Jade, a superstar who has gone from that lovable underdog to the vicious competitor. There's a ruthlessness to Cora Jade now that she definitely did not have when she first arrived on the scene. That's because she realized being the lovable underdog doesn't win match. Shoulders down, championship on the line. The champ with a kick out after two. She won't allow herself to be embarrassed this early on. Oh, oh man. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Corey, what can an opponent expect from a superstar like Cora Jade? Well, that's the thing, Cole. You don't know what to expect against Cora Jade. But one thing that's been made very clear is Jade's comfort in bending the rules. If you can frustrate her and keep the pressure up, Jade will start looking around the side for an equalizer and maybe slip up. Mad slam with some attitude. Oh, perfect kick. She flips it back on her. Running close line.
Got their opponent set up. Drop kick to the back. And Cora perhaps learning she's not the only ruthless competitor. No, no, no. Oh, straight to the floor. Wildly throwing your body out of the ring like that is more often than not going to provide such a result. That was an example of boldness backfiring. Toss back into the ring. Look at this. Oh, from the rope. Has the challenger pinned? Is this it? Gets the shoulder up after one. Yes, using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Stop after stop after stop. Putting the boots to an opponent will take the fight out of them in a hurry. Turnbuckle's the only thing keeping her upright. Knee lift in the corner rocks the jaw. Send a shock down your spine. Oh man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. Drop kick right to the knee. Right on the patella. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. This is where Roxanne will be tested. Uh, she's trying, trying to create space. Going up high with the punch. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Uh-oh, this is just vicious. Arm stop. Cora being the aggressor. Cora continues the assault. Blast off. She comes up empty. Using the elbow as a weapon. Able to get out of the way. Uh-oh. What a hurt for now a pin for the championship. Oh, by a hair. This title fight continues. This is amazing. You know, I've noticed some friction lately between these superstars. Well, you can't be friends with everybody. I've noticed the same. There's definitely something of a rivalry here. That was a uh -oh. new champion. And a count stop short of two. She's not done yet, but you have to believe that she's still in all sorts of trouble here. Roxanne is being overwhelmed. Wait a minute, setting in. Devastating submission coming. Escape and a side slam. There's a Russian leg sweep. Rapid fire rights over and over. Look out! Suicide dive! Absolutely throwing all caution to the wind. Spinning in the face of danger. And did you hear the impact of that? Fight is so close to our announce table. Yeah, I'm just gonna step aside now. Hey, wait for me! Everyone get out of the way. These two are abandoning all restraints. Sent into the corner. Landing the uppercut. The effects of this match are showing on the champ. Well, all things considered. Ah, oh, down. The superstar goes. Momentum being built. Tremendous resilience. You can feel the growing confidence. <laughs> Roxanne now has a leg up in this match. You can see the frustration on Cora Jade's face, and you know she's searching for something as an equalizer. Up high. Oh, got caught. Body slam. Quick thinking pays off. Quick exchange of counters there. Hurricane. Looking for a high risk, high reward situation. From the top. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Pierce 
bouncing elbow. And Roxanne being aligned into position. He's gonna try it again. your dreams. Good night. Two count. Kick out. The hook lives on. Just barely able to kick out. I thought the champ had it in the bag. This is how much the championship needs. You can see. Roxanne Perez looking for pop rocks. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm is shifted. I can't believe it. We were a second away from a new champion. Are we close to the start of a new reign? Sometimes when you unleash your best offense and it doesn't get the job done, you're taken out of your game. That's a real possibility now in this match. We are seeing a next level performance from these competitors tonight. They've shown a lot of resiliency. You have to give them that. The pillars of this building must be crumbling from the energy these fans are putting out right now. These superstars are giving it their all, and this audience is giving it right back. Slice bread. She is queuing it up again. Oh, a double DDT. Looks like the champ is going to retain. Relief on the face of Cora Jade for retaining her title. Sometimes a match can't live up to the hype, guys, but that one sure did. Here is your winner, and still, the NXT Women's Champion, Cora Jane. This was a truly spectacular win. I have a lot of respect for the performance she just gave in this match. She earned this win, no question. generation superstar. Absolutely dominant in NXT. Beat every big name that tried to take his throne. Yeah, I see his WWE career following the same pattern, Michael. You don't need to be a math major to realize that tonight spells disaster for Braun Breaker's opposition. Or the entire WWE locker room. is money. star written all over him. A winner of the 2021 NXT Breakout Tournament, multiple-time NXT North American Champion, and unified that title with the Cruiserweight Championship. He's got a cocky attitude, but a bad habit of backing it up. Mello ready to do something special.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is for the NXT Championship. Introducing the challenger from Woodstock, Georgia, weighing in at 230 pounds, Braun Breaker. And his opponent from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, he is the NXT Champion, Carmelo Hayes. The champion thrives in these situations. Pride and heart will be tested. Clearly ready for this one to get underway. One of the more impressive young superstars in the company today. Oh, yeah. Braun Breaker's aptitude at such an early point in his career isn't something that should be understated. Flattening his opponents is written in his DNA. Some could even say he's a genetic freak, and he's not normal when he steps into the squared circle. You're right, Byron. Breaker comes into every match with the agenda of decimating his opponents. Tonight should be no different. And up against him is the supremely talented, supremely confident Carmelo Hayes. The only thing more dangerous than a confident man is a man who could back it up. Hayes is damn good and he knows it. He could be in for a show tonight, fellas. Kicks him to the face. Ah, uh, heel hook. Look at this. Oh, that's so painful. It's hard to watch, too. And when you're dealing with an athlete of Carmelo Hayes caliber, you have to think you're at a huge physical disadvantage. No argument there, but athleticism doesn't equal knowledge. Hayes is still a rising star in this business. Force him into unfamiliar territory, and you can catch him slipping. Reverse him! What a counter! Ooh. And Hayes' confidence perhaps just got a little shaken. Yeah, as that was Breaker unleashing that freak athleticism and power of his. Arms hooked. Double underhook slam. Well-framed standing moonsault. Sure was pretty, but we don't judge matches on style points. Ooh. Stop in the leg. Oh, weakening the leg here. What's he gonna do here? Back in the foot. Oh, that hurts. to the swift shot block. And that was an efficient form of offense with that move. Hayes now on the offensive. Look at this. It's not suplex. Uh-oh. Somersault plunge out of the floor. It's like a heat-seeking missile coming at you. And the explosion occurring ringside. How are they gonna hear after this match? And a kick. Slips out of the way there. What reflexes? What's he about to do? A powerful suplex toss. Whoa. I honestly can't believe we just saw a human being tossed like that. Right to the face. My God. And gets tossed back into the mat. Referees count at seven. They need to get back into the ring. Get him into the corner. Oh, not what Hayes intended. Looks like some words have been exchanged. And body language is telling me they might not have been the kindest. And that looked like a rag doll being thrown around. It couldn't have felt good being sucked around like that. Spin! Ron 
Breaker. Downright decimated. Here's the pin title on the line. Here we go. And a kick at it, too. I thought for sure he was done. Strength on display. This is absolutely incredible. Boom! Military press power slam. The champ's eyes look glazed over. And that's it. New champ. New champ. Let's take another look at these guys getting after it. Here is your winner. champion. People are going to be talking about this match for a long time coming. Talking about where they were when the title changed hands. Yeah, and we had the distinct pleasure of having the best seats in the house, gentlemen.